talk to people as if it were the last conversation you'd ever have with them. Let them know what you feel. Let them know what you think. Tell them what comes to your heart, you know? And, and I think that's so powerful. And that's one of the biggest memento mores that I've come across. Like, I remember when my grandfather passed away, I had this weird feeling that it was going to be the last time I saw him. And he was asleep. And we just had, a, like, a great conversation. I was uh, talking to my grandma. Then I came back just to say goodbye to him. And he was asleep. Mm-hmm. And I left the room because I was going to say goodbye and something, I've never told this to anyone, something in my chest. I was just like, eh, I'm going to go back. And I stared at him for like 10, 15 seconds. And then I left. And this was during the pandemic and he ended up passing away due to COVID. Um, and there was just something about that. Like I think about that last conversation that we had. And not in a pessimistic way, but rather in an optimistic sense that that taught me so much that I want every single conversation to be worthy of the last conversation I ever have with that human. And it could be someone I really care about, or it could be someone I will never see again in my entire life for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. But I want them to remember me in a good way, not because it's about me, but because that's what life is about. You just want to bring, I don't know, good stuff to other people. It's not about talking shit. It's not about, oh, this person frustrates me and annoys me, which you know some people do. Mm -hmm. But... There's more to that and there's more to words and there's more to fights. And I think it's just how you make people feel. And yeah. the creative act is literally a way of being in the world. And I think once yeah. you go about that, it's, it's nice. Yeah. I mean, I appreciate you sharing that. Like I knew only a piece of that story, but I didn't know like specifically like to that extent. But I hope no one, re- no people don't need to reach like that point to come to that conclusion that they need to live that way. Because I know I've had a personal experience kind of similar to that. But I guess, like, the message is is kind of don't wait for that. Kind of, like, seize the opportunity to to be creative. And that can can take on different forms. Well, have you seen the Naval quote? Naval says that everybody has two lives, and the second one starts once you realize you only have one. Mm -hmm. And I think thinking about death that often and realizing that everything in every single moment is just... Every moment is dying. Like, the fair I mentioned from five years ago, that fair is dead. The fair from yesterday, that fair is dead. Mm -hmm. It's not that it's gone. It's not that it's in the past. He is dead. I'm a completely new person. Mm -hmm. And I think thinking about life in that way and thinking about life as a ticking clock, I don't know. At least for me, I think about memento mori and death and the idea that our time is limited motivates me so much because I have a limited amount of time. How am I going to make it count? How Mm -hmm. am I going to do everything that I love and am passionate about in that time. Mm-hmm. And along the way, if I get to inspire someone in some way, great. 